All right, everybody. We are now in segment number 24 of Alex's birthday special. I'm excited to play Jeopardy for the Game Boy. Here we go. Let's play. Jerry, this game, here we go. One daily double up there in one of these categories. We have cats and dogs, unreal estate, twins, potpourri, travel and tourism, and literature. Um, cats and dogs 100. This cat speaks for nine lives. Who is Morris? Cats and dogs, 200. Dog who went from Petticoat Junction to International Stardom. Who is Benji? Please. Geppetto's cat in Figaro. Geppetto's cat in Pinocchio. I gave away the answer. Who is Figaro? Geppetto's cat in Pinocchio. Who is Figaro? Cats and dogs for 400. The heart's dog on heart to heart. Who's Freeway? Cats and dogs for five here, please. Mom and dad to Disney's dog Scamp. Poor lady in the tramp. Again. How about literature for 100? Clown of diamond patches or romance novels? Let's see if Jerry knows this one. It's a Harlequin. Alright. Harlequin, Harlequin. Either way, he's right. Four hundred. Chang and Aang Bugger gave the name to this variety of siblings. What are Siamese twins? Twins 200. Abby's twin sister and chief competitor. Uh, who's Ann Landers? Twins for 300. More twins Maurice and Robin join Brother Barry to form this singing group. Who are the Bee Gees? Twins for 400. Astrological name for Starry Twins Castor and Pollux. Uh, what is Gemini? That's right. 
20s for 500. $2,500 is what I have right now for Alex. Let's keep going. Messy Kids TV game show that featured twin cheerleaders Sammy and Jackie Forrest. What is Funhouse? That's right. Three thousand dollars now. Literature for two hundred. He slew the half man, half brute monster Grendel, who is Beowulf. Literature for three hundred. The beautiful gypsy girl who rang Quasimodo's bells, who is Esmeralda. Literature for 400. Title office held by Michael Henchard in the Thomas Hardy novel. Mayor of Casterbridge is the correct response. Hey, Tiger. Pumpery for 500. The fastest mouse in all of Mexico, who is Speedy Gonzalez. A pulpery for 100. Hair color of the little girl Charlie Brown loves. What is red? Pulpery for 200. Look at all this money I'm piling up. The only president whose wife sat on Mr. T's lap. Who is Ronald Reagan? <laughs> yep, Pope Reef 300. Look at all the money I'm piling up. Paddington, Winnie, and Yogi are fictional ones. What are bears? Pulpery for 400. Scientists have synthesized this herb, so you're now protected against synthetic vampires. What is garlic? And if that's right, I go up to five thousand dollars. No, not garm, garlic. And let's have literature for five hundred and five thousand dollars now. As I just mentioned a little bit ago. Storm raising Duke of the Tempest. And that storm raising duke is Prospero. Okay. Travel the tourism for a hundred, please. At a bullfight, you should try to get tickets for this som sombra section. What is the matador section? I believe that's right. Wrong. 
So that's the first bit of cash Whammy Incorporated is getting this segment. One hundred. Well, it's just a hundred dollars, so the damage is somewhat minimal. Let's see if Jerry knows this one. The shade. Oh, okay. All right. That was a little bit of a tricky one. Where the Beatles take the yellow submarine to? Jerry. Pepperland. All right. One who stays in Playtown too long like Pinocchio turns into one of these. What's a donkey? On real estate, 200, please. Daily double. I'm gonna try not luck on 4,800. Big gamble, here's the clue in Unreal Estate. Elephant King who ruled for the capital city of Celesteville, who is Babar? He's the one. $10,000! Unreal Estate, 400 City where King Arthur received his sword and returned to die. And that city he returned to was Avalon. Unreal Estate for 500 please. The duchy ruled by the Grand Duchess Gloriana the Thirteenth and the mouse that roared. Jerry. Grand Fenwick. And that's the correct response. So Jerry, you're at 600. Or 1200 rather. Excuse me, I'm sorry. That clues with Crockett, you're at 1200. In summer, the changing of the guard occurs here daily at 11.30 a.m. What is Buckingham Palace? which you could take a ride on the Maid of the Mist. Jerry. The Niagara River. Alright. Four hundred. Five hundred. On a cruise ship, he's responsible for all accounts and papers and passengers for pa and for passengers' comfort. Purser. Uh huh. We have one clue left, and then we'll go to double jeopardy. Red Cena, which you can buy in Greece, is this. Jerry. Mm. Wine. Yep. So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I have $10,200. Jerry has $2,400. So let's go ahead and start double Jeopardy at this time. Jerry, we'll start with you. Italy for $200. This family ruled Florence for 300 years and produced three popes. Who are the Medici? Italy for 400. Daily double. I'm gonna play Guts Ball again. I'm gonna go 5,600. Here's the clue in Italy. 
a hell of a story. His Divine Comedy popularized the Italian language. Who is Dante Alighieri? He's the one. Sixteen thousand dollars. Italy for six hundred. French emperor who redesigned the Italian flag to resemble his own. Who is Napoleon? Look at all this cash that Alex is going to be giving. Italy for eight hundred. You can visit this explorer's birthplace in Genoa. Who is Christopher Columbus? Look at all this cash. Remember, this is for Peros, not myself. I'll be playing for myself again when I do my own birthday special later this year. And when I get back to doing game show runs, which will be very, very soon. Italy for a thousand. Ironically, he was named after Mexican liberator Benito Juarez, who is Benito Mussolini. And I ran the Italy category like it was nothing. Ran the Italy category. $18,400. What other five categories do we have up there? We have museums. We have fictional characters. Mr. and Mrs. Both are in quotation marks. We have insects. And we have former capitals. I'll take fictional characters for $200. They are Shakespeare's star-crossed lovers. Who are Romeo and Juliet? Is there a chance that I could run the entire Double Jeopardy round by myself? We'll see. Anything is possible. Fictional characters for 400. Wendy's last name is Pita Pat. What is darling? Fictional characters for 600. $19,000. Count on a hot tin roof's portly patriarch. And it's Big Daddy. Oh, okay. How about fictional characters for 800? Hookah smoker who gave Alice advice. Who is the caterpillar? <laughs> fictional characters for 1000. At the beginning of this 1938 Du Maurier novel, the title Wife is Already Dead. It's Rebecca. Okay. Could I have four more capitals for 200? Until Brasilia was carved from the wilderness, this was Brasilia's capital. I have it between two of them. I'm going to say what is Sao Paulo. I have it between two of them. Oh, it's the other one. Ugh. So we're giving Wayne Incorporated a little more cash. They're now getting $300 total so far. But the damage was minimal. 
It's the other one. It's Rio de Janeiro, the other one. Former capitals for 400. For 200 years, it's Czar ruled from ruled. It's Czar's ruled from Saint Petersburg. What is Russia? Former capitals for 600. Until the, under the British, Calcutta was its capital. What is India? Former capitals for 800. The nationalists ruled it from Nanking. What is China? Former capitals 1000. The other daily double. I'm gonna play Gus Ball and we're gonna go all in. I'm gonna bet all 21 4. We're gonna do it. Here's the clue in former capitals. In the Middle Ages, its seat of state was Krakow. What is Poland? 42,800 dollars. Insects 200. What's done to a pesky mosquito or an acronym for a special weapon for a police special weapons team? What is SWAT? Insects 400. Completes of Ben Franklin Forest. Here's Skuglice Snow Gaze. What is bug in a rug? Uh, insects for 600. It's the shortest route taken back to the hive. Jerry. A beeline. All right. Insects 800. The actual title of Jimmy Crack Corn. What is Blue Tail Fly? Insects for a thousand. Of its varieties, the atlas is one of the largest and the its head hawk chirps by blowing its nose. Moths, okay. Mr. and Mrs. for 200. The line ending a presidential press conference. What is thank you, Mr. President? Mr. and Mrs. for 400. <laughs> Hugh Lumpy Branham played this farming friend of Captain Kangaroo. Who is Mr. Green Jeans?
Mr. and Mrs. for 600. In this role, Kate Jackson was in the spy field with the Scarecrow, who's Mrs. King. Mr. and Mrs. 800. According to Herman's Hermits, she has a lovely daughter. Who is Mrs. I don't know, so I'll see who's Mrs. Brown. I didn't really mean to buzz in. Oh, that's right! Wow, I just guessed on that one and got it right. Poitiers sequel to In the Heat of the Night. What is Mr. Tibbs? Incorporated another one thousand dollars, so now they're profiting thirteen hundred. That doesn't even compare to the forty-five thousand two hundred I'm giving to Alex. <laughs> they call me Mr. Tibbs. I'd add on before that. Here we go. With paintings going back to only 1880, this museum was founded in New York City in 1929. What's the Museum of Modern Art? Candle to her London Chamber of Horrors. Who is Madame Tussaud? <laughs> Museums four hundred. <laughs> This city's Rijksmuseum is known for having the finest collection of Rembrandts. What is Amsterdam? Six hundred. This Midwest City's Science Museum has a coal mine and a submarine. What is Chicago? Now the last clip. The Uffizi Gallery houses this country's national library. What is Italy? That's going to put me at $48,200. It is indeed five. For any ink profits thirteen hundred dollars, Alex profits fifty grand. And I'll see you all for that next segment right after this.